Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you what to look for when you're using on def uh, when you're using fonts from defont.com. You require do you do need to get a license, a commercial license, um, even if you're going to use it for if you agree to use it for personal use, that's fine, but you need to read the uh, the agreement and I'll show you what to look for. Let's get started. Okay, so here we have, um, I typed in my name and I just clicked on submit and I'm under, I'm in the B's. So I found one here, it's a perfect example of what to pay attention to when you're using these fonts on defont.com. Um, uh, let me find it. Okay, for instance, this one. Let's say I wanted to use this one or personal use or commercial use. Me being a business, it's commercial use. Let's say I like this one. And real quick, let me add that this is for tutorial purposes only. Let's say I want to use um, Birds of Paradise. I want to download it. I'm also going to show you how to download it into your, your font files. So we're going to click on download. Down here, you're going to see, and I'm using uh, Windows. You're going to you're going to click on this little arrow and open. And you always want to download anything. It's, it's sometimes it'll say TTF, which is True Type Font. That's the one you always want to click on to download. Now you see where there's a PNG file. Click on this, and it's telling you this is for personal use only. You click on that. This company has instructions. Perfect example. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see it or how clear it is, but it says, thanks for downloading our demo version of one of our fonts. This font is free for personal use only. It means that if you're running a business and using our font, you will need a commercial license. And then it tells you commercial license or commercial, I can't even talk. Commercial licenses are available directly on, and it's herofonts.com. And that's who you need to purchase it from. Here it says, make personal artworks such as invitations, posters, etc. for your personal use. Make artworks for school purposes. Use the rasterization version of the fonts, etc., etc., etc. Make sure you read all of this. Some of this red is kind of messing with my eyes right now. But make sure that when you you click on, make sure you click on this. Don't just automatically just go, okay, I'm going to download or whatever. Don't ignore this. There's another file attached. Read that. That's very important. This is for tutorial tutorial purposes only. I can't even talk today. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And then it shows you, you know, what it looks like, you know, the, the, the text, what it looks like. So up here, you'll click on install, and you're going to agree that it's for personal use only. I already downloaded it, so it's telling me that it's, I don't have, I mean, it's already, I already downloaded it. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to click no. And it's still downloading, there you go. And that's, that's pretty much all you do. But very important, read this. Or anything else is attached to it. Let's let's see what another one does. I just came across that because um I was uh I, I was curious if it had a license. Here we go. Let's find. Just doing random ones here. Let's say I like this one, bittersweet. I don't want to download it, but I just, well, I guess I already am. Open. TTF is what you download. PNG file, just go ahead and open that up, see what it says. <laughs> I 
don't know what that's about. I guess they're telling me I'm pretty. I'll take it. All right, here's a PDF, another PDF file. Um, I don't want to mess with that. So I'm not sure what it is or whatever. Oh, well, I guess I don't have a choice. <clears throat> you see here it says end user license, license agreement for personal use only. So it's very important just to read everything. Personal use, commercial use, what you need to do. Um, and it gives you instructions on what to do. And the font is not to be sold. So you can't download it or save it and then sell it. That's That would not be cool. But anyway, the majority do come with instructions on how to purchase it, who to go to, who the contact is. Always look for that. Always read the instructions. Don't just download and use them unless you're making tutorials like me. But for personal use, tutorial purposes also. Um, let's do one more. I guess I better just click on something I like so I don't have random stuff in my font. So I guess I can just uninstall it. Um, let's just do one more. <clears throat> this one's kind of crazy looking. And then you can click on it and see how everything else looks. Let's go back. Looks like wood, the core of the wood for a log. That's a good Christmassy one. Um, I'm just doing random. Let's see. I'm going to do one more. I don't know. I guess I can do this one for now. I mean, let's see what it says. Download. Some of them don't really have anything. Like here, this one's different. This one says get commercial license. I don't know what FSLA, non, okay, non-commercial license. Let's read that. Font software, license agreement, non-commercial. Definition of terms. The agreement refers to this agreement and all of the text herein. Um, and it gives you, it tells you the meanings of Font software, the product, licensed unit, personal, non-commercial use means any use that is not intended to generate money, to aid in generation of money, or to aid a person, organization, or product with the aim of commercial success. Um, you have it's it's a lot, but yes, if you want to if you want to use these fonts. You need to look for all of this, read it. Intellectual property, liability, termination, additional terms and use, scope of use. It's important to read all of this. I know I know in the beginning that was when I was playing around and I really didn't pay attention to that, but now that I am actually a business, I do have to pay attention to that. So just to avoid any issues or problems with like the people that uh that rightfully own these, that created these. Here I was just playing around with some of the fonts. Um, uh, these are going to be for personal use. I already printed this on, on my Rambler that I use around the house. And I bought some water bottles for me and my brother. So I'm going to, I just wanted to show you what to look for when you're downloading or using uh, fonts from defont.com. So that's very important to avoid any issues or problems just keep that in mind be diligent do your research anyway i hope this video was helpful until next time